Marketing is the single most important element to business success, which is why it's so important that you understand how it all works. And that's exactly why in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you how marketing works and why you need to care. Let's get to it. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, marketing strategist and welcome to The Marketing Show. All right, let's talk marketing. Specifically, just why this often misunderstood and crazy skill of marketing rarely gets the full credit that it truly deserves, and it does deserve a whole lot of credit. After all, as I alluded to at the very beginning, actually as I said just outright, marketing is really the single most important element to business success because without marketing, you don't really have business because it's marketing's job to attract more customers, generate more leads, and essentially help making sales easy and effortless. Ultimately, marketing's job is to get you more customers, and without customers, you don't have a business. So if you want to reach more people, if you want to make a bigger impact, if you want to make a whole lot more money, you're going to need marketing. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's start at the top and just accept the fact that everything is marketing. You see, the very first thing that you need to understand about just how important and how integrated marketing is to everything that you do, well, you need to understand that everything that you are doing or not doing is communicating something to other people, whether it's friends and family or whether it's prospects, customers, or potential clients. The way that you dress, the way that you speak, the accent that you have, the video that you do or that you don't make, the way that you answer the phone, the way that you write an email, pretty much everything that you do is communicating something to your customers, to your prospects, to your ideal clients. The reality is, is that you and I, well, we're being judged all the time. We're being judged on our appearance. We're being judged by what we say. We're being judged by the quality of the service or the products that we put out there into the marketplace. So it only makes sense to try to control as much of the narrative as possible. And that's really what marketing is all about. It's essentially taking control back and really influencing and persuading the perception that other people have about you. Because like it or not, they're forming a perception, they're making judgments, and they're making them very very quickly. So it only makes sense to try to control that as much as humanly possible. When you add to the fact that first impressions are made almost in the blink of an eye and they tend to last a really, really long time, well, it only makes sense even more so to try to control all of your marketing and try to ensure that you're really putting your best foot forward. And that's what this is all about. It's not about being fake or cheesy or slimy or sleazy or salesy or anything like that. Rather, what it is, is it's highlighting the best aspects of you the best aspects of your business and making sure that that is the first thing that people see when they come to your business, when they first are introduced to you or anything like that. All right, so if we can agree on the fact that everything is marketing, well, let's move on to the next point, which is marketing is communicating value. One of the biggest misrepresentations or myths or misunderstandings about marketing to those outside of the industry is that marketing is sales or marketing is advertising. And while it's true that there is a little bit of overlap there and advertising is definitely a part of marketing, it's not everything. In fact, that'd be kind of like calling taxes all of accounting or supply and demand all of economics or anything like that. It just doesn't make sense. Really, marketing is a much broader, much bigger picture involving all sorts of different things. But at the core of it, what it is, is about communicating a message, ideally communicating value. Even more ideally, communicating your value to your ideal target market. Essentially, what you're trying to do with your marketing is you're trying to, again, put your best foot forward. You're trying to show up in the best possible light and letting other people know why they should care about what it is that you're doing and how you can serve them, how you can benefit them, and ultimately how you can help them achieve their goals. That's really what it's all about. Marketing that works, marketing that's effective, well, it's all about the other person. It's about being empathetic. It's about understanding where they're coming through from and what they're going through and essentially how to position your business in a way that solves that for them. On the other hand, marketing that doesn't work that well is all very selfish and business-centered, but we'll cover that in a minute. One of the biggest differentiators in marketing between those campaigns that really knock it out of the park, they really dominate, they really click, they possibly even go viral. Well, they're relatable, they're authentic, and they're relevant to the situation and to the time that we're going through, whether that's right now or whether it's some weird time in the future or some crazy time in the past, whatever it is, it has to be relatable. And in order to be relatable, you've really got to have your finger on the pulse of society and of most specifically your customers. 
their pains, their problems, their wants, their dreams, their goals, their desires, everything that's going on inside their minds. You've got to try to be as empathetic as possible. You've really got to put yourself into their shoes and try to see things from their eyes and their perspective. And when you do this, when you have customer centric marketing, well, you can knock it out of the park because really all you're going to give them is exactly what they want. And by understanding them, well, you're going to know what they want, which makes it that much easier. Unsuccessful marketing, on the other hand, is all about the business. It's all about you. It's selfish. It's really irrelevant. And, and this is really hard to say, and it's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of business owners. But the reality is, is the customers really don't care about you that much only in so much as you can help them achieve what they're really after. After all, just think about your interactions with other businesses. I mean, sure, you might like the owner, you might have a good rapport and a good relationship, but if they stop providing value, if they stop being of any service to you, well, you might still be friends, but you're not gonna still do business with them. The takeaway point I really want to hit home for you here is that the better that you understand your customer, the better that your marketing will be, and the better you're going to be able to communicate value, which is ultimately what marketing is all about. All right, so now that we've got that covered, let's dive into the weeds a little bit with how does marketing actually work? And I appreciate this is an incredibly complex topic, so let's break it down into some very simple parts. Marketing is really just a combination of other sciences or other specialties like psychology and economics and buyer behavior, definitely an element of communication in there, also probably some facets of design. I mean, I guess you could probably reference a little bit of biology. The point is, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but what it really comes down to is people. People are complicated, like super complicated. Which is why anybody that just comes out and tells you, here, just do this and you'll automatically make sales, well, they're probably selling you something like snake oil? Oceanfront property in Arizona? I don't know, some kind of scam. The reality is, is that marketing's complex and it's nuanced and it's difficult to just go out there and, and toss out some broad generalizations because the reality is, is that what's going to work for you in your market, with your business, with your specific and unique customers, well, it's gonna be just that. It's gonna be unique and specific to you and your market and your unique customers and your business and all of those things. So essentially, marketing is pretty deep stuff. But don't let that dissuade you. Don't let that stop you from really doing some solid marketing because you don't need a PhD to make all this stuff work. Rather, if you wanna look at it in a much better way in the way that I choose to look at it and to uh, hopefully convince you of is that marketing is actually pretty simple when you get down to the bones of it, which is marketing is about communicating value. Marketing is about helping other people. Now, I talked about this at the beginning that the better you understand your customer, the better your marketing is going to be. Well, that's really what this is all about. It's about trying to have a conversation with your customers, trying to figure out what their pains and problems are, how your business is uniquely positioned to solve them, and then really just show Showing them that what you've got can help them achieve their goals. That's marketing. Just show people how you can help them, give them what they want. Job done. Now, of course, you can take it deeper if you want to. And my suggestion is definitely start with the basic stuff, but over time, well, it's kind of fascinating to figure out just what makes people tick, why we do the things they do, why we buy the things that we buy, and why we make emotional rather than logical decisions. In that case, got a couple suggestions for you. One of the most interesting fields that you can start to look into and study is a field called behavioral economics. Really, really interesting stuff on the psychology of why people do the things they do. Promise, it's gonna be pretty surprising. You're gonna learn that people make decisions emotionally first and then justify them and back them up logically and rationally later, but pretty much after the decision's already been made. And again, this brings us full circle right back to the beginning of everything is marketing and you better be taking control of the narrative that's going on in other people's minds and really putting your best foot forward when you're making those first impressions and having those touch points with your customers. All right, so why else is marketing relevant? Why else should you care? How does this whole thing work? Well, another reason that is really imperative and really valuable for you to care about marketing is that not only is it going to help you make more sales and generate more income and all of that good stuff, but it's also going to make you a better and stronger person. Well, it sounds kind of weird to say, but the reality is, is that great marketing takes courage. Now, this is hopefully going to be pretty easy to accept because anytime that you're doing any kind of communication, well, you're essentially putting yourself out there. And that means that you're opening yourself up for criticism or for somebody to argue with you or, or just say you have no idea what you're doing. And obviously that takes an element of courage. Well, marketing takes that and it throws gas on the fire because your goal with marketing is to try to reach as many people as possible, which means you're opening yourself up a whole lot more. 
Here's a fun fact. Your haters, the people that are going to disagree with you and just be downright nasty, well, they're not a specific number, rather they're a percentage. So let's say that 1% of the population is just not going to like what you say. Well, if you're reaching 100 people, that's just going to be one person. But if you're reaching 1,000 people, it's going to be 10. What about 100,000? What about a million? You can see as it grows, you're going to be experiencing a little more criticism and a little more kickback to your stuff. Marketing, as Seth Godin says, is the bold and courageous act of essentially going out to the market and saying, here, I made this. I hope you like it. Some people are going to love it. Some people aren't. But that's okay. As Aristotle said, the only way to avoid criticism is to do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. And we don't want that. Okay, so if we can accept the fact that everything is marketing and marketing is communicating value and marketing is going to take and build some massive courage, well, it really does become a lot easier to accept that marketing is the single most important element to your business's success. If your goal is to generate more leads or get more customers or increase your clients or make more sales or expand your reach or increase your income or anything like that, the answer is marketing. The beauty is, is that once you understand the fundamentals and the principles of marketing and just how it works, well, everything in your business and your life becomes that much easier and more profitable. And that's why the next thing you're going to want to do is check out the video I have linked up right here on Business Marketing Basics. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in the next episode. This is why anytime I'm consulting with a client or we're designing a campaign through the agency, we always look at market message and media alignment.